Algo y lo sabe. Silent dance challenge. I'm gonna be walking in front of random people and dancing in front of them without the need of music. No. <laughs> I got it if you want it. Come on, come on. Hey, hey. Going good, bro. How are you doing? Yeah. I am really bored now, so let's interview some random people with the man, the myth, the legend. You guys gotta join us. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Robert and Miley Cyrus, Olivia and V. I'm Maddie. I'm Allie. Marissa, AJ, and Peter. I'm Allie. I'm Allie. Isabella. Where is everybody from? Arkansas. Arkansas. California. LA. Which side of the island? Portland. Oh, Portland, Oregon. Are you guys big Cheryl Blazers fans? I'm not into basketball. Not into basketball. I'm walking away. Oregon. Oregon. We just Southern met someone Oregon. from Portland. Oh, no. We're from yeah. Southern Oregon. Is it yeah, Southern so California? So. Yeah. Oh, see? Yeah. All the way from St. Louis, Missouri. Someone knows that you're from Missouri by this scream or call, what would it be? What do they do? These guys sing a Nelly song. If you wanna go and take a ride, that is that the be, way? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we got the parties here. Oh <laughs> yeah, we're trying to find the party. <laughs> we got cool dip in the building, ladies and gentlemen. You feel me? Oh, I'm gonna ask a very, very PG-13, oh PG question. PG-13, since you've been in Hawaii, what is three good things that you love so much about Hawaii? the beach. I really love the beach here. It's super nice and relaxing. The local people. I love the locals. They're so nice and inviting and welcoming. And the weather. I love the food. The food. It's really good. I love the nature, obviously. The sunset. I just love the vibes here. Nightlife. She loves the locals, so call in all locals. If you were an animal, what animal would you be and what would that sound like? Oh, a dog. Uh, I'd be a pig, and I, I just, I just be oinking everywhere. A cat. I'd be a horse. They're very majestic. We're gonna get a sample of what that sounds like in three, two, one. Woof, woof. Oh, that is the most sick dog I've ever heard in my life. But yeah, oink, right. oink, oink. That's exactly what a pig sounds like. All right, and then the cat. Let's hear the cat. Meow. Nay. <laughs> Nay, no, I can't even make that noise. Do that one more time for the child. Nay. <laughs> if you could dispense anything out of your belly button, what would it be? Oh, that's an interesting... So what would it be? Uh, this dispense is my anything out of my belly. But it can't be money. This might be the coolest thing I have seen happening here on the beach right now. I I'm, said blueberry. How do I even top that question? M &M. If I could dispense anything out of my belly, it would be... World peace. You deserve it, babe. She has dispensed M&Ms and blueberries. That's one of the things she's done. If I'm gonna give it to you. What do they call them? Portlandians? Yeah, Portlandians. What do they do for fun in Portland, Oregon? In Southern Oregon. Drive around, get Dutch Bros coffee. Ice skating, stop by Target, late night Target runs, yeah. Walmart runs, whatever. Bowling. Their favorite thing is to stop by Target. The lake. So do you do like a triple axle and all that stuff? I or? cannot do that. There we go. What is the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Craziest thing in Oregon. Oh, they're still you thinking. Went yeah, it's not that crazy though. There's a lot of uh, street racing. By street the racing. Thing. Dispensing blueberries for five hours. Like, I how long are you up there? I just hear all the engines like, going. So you hear that, folks? The broom you can find all in Portland, Oregon. It's, wow. If you're scared okay. of heights, I would recommend doing it because of like, your fear. Fast and the Furious was made there. <laughs> Fun fact. All right. Yeah. No, I wasn't. Oh. Let's, let's just pretend. Okay. Now that was a nice slam. So what is the most craziest thing you guys ever done while drunk? You know, I, I don't remember. I was really f***ing up. So. <laughs> That's all you gotta know. She doesn't yeah. remember. She skinny dipped in front of this whole party. It was crazy. I'm assuming yeah. the strippers were there too as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, okay. I was one of them too. <laughs> you 
you crazy, bro? <laughs> okay, cool. Are you now, from here? I'm from American Samoa. Do you oh, know where that is? No, where is that? So, do you know who The Rock is? Yes. Yes. Dwayne Johnson, he is half Samoan. It's like a small doubt on the map. It's like five hours on the opposite direction. In Fast and the Furious, a bunch of tribal men with all tattoos, mm -hmm. they were all Samoan. Oh, that were fighting the That were fighting bad the bad guys. Yeah, yeah. I watched that one on the plane. <laughs> now they know what's coming with our, We wear grass skirts and all that stuff there. Oh, that's cool. Girl, girl, put some on it. Anything you want. What are you doing here in Hawaii right now? What are our friends Maddie and Allie doing out here in prom dresses? <laughs> Having our first vacation since COVID started. <laughs> this is very important to know. When you had that lockdown, what did you do to like cope with it? You guys you look know, great. So I have this dress for no reason, so I thought, why not bring it to Hawaii? <laughs> Netflix for her. Okay. Video games for me. Where was your fancy dinner at? <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> okay, now you got to tell me, what's your favorite Netflix show? Anything crime. I watch a lot of like crime documentaries and stuff. Oh, Shameless. Oh, Shameless. The Tropics. Look at how fancy these guys are. They went to the Tropics. What video games are your favorite? Warzone, Fortnite. He probably killed me at some point. He does Fortnite, huh? Uh, now, what did you have? <laughs> okay, let me tell you know what? I'm a plain yeah. person. I just got a cheeseburger with nothing on it. Oh my gosh. She came all the way from Oregon to have a cheeseburger, folks. That's a right? He's a Fortnite champion, folks. He won like two grand a couple. Really? Yeah. Was it a 1v1 or did he actually take out a bunch of people? 3v3. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty dope. Yeah. Say what? <laughs> like you can't find a much better match made in heaven than Ali and Maddie. Thank you. Hut, hut, hut. That's my first throw in five million years. Oh, wow. That is why most Samoans are in the NFL. You're just naturally built for it. Oh, not getting in the way. I did get in the way there. Silent dance challenge. Silent dance challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up to people and randomly dance. Man, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Yeah, I like the hair. Thank you. That's, that's what's up. Wakanda forever. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Doesn't that look so obvious? The way you're sitting there. I don't know what other dance moves to do. I'm just doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> what up, brother? <laughs> Look at what I'm wearing. Lakers. Yes. Lies, bro. Hey, the Suns are doing really well. I really hope they take everything. Thank they knocked out my team. O oink again. I got to hear the oink again. Oink, 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 oink. Best oink you've ever heard in your life. That's how they sound in SoCal. That's what I like. That's what I like. Look, evil you, that's what they like. That's what they like. Now, you're Maddie, right? No. You're okay. Allie. I'm Allie. Okay, Allie. Is there a lot of beaches in Missouri? No, there's no. Oh, there's none. none? Badly, no. So is it, is it mostly city like? It, it's so gross. Yeah. I mean, it's seriously, like, I would not ever suggest to go there. Hawaiian? So if you want to try traditional Hawaiian, my recommendation, uh -huh. Highway Inn. Get that check. Yeah, why oh, don't I we ask that question? Skydiving. Okay, Me I've too. done that. Wait, oh, how was, yeah, well, how was it? So if you like roller coasters that are endless, then it's for you. And it felt like five hours, but it was only mm -hmm. like three minutes or maybe two minutes before the shoot opened. Wait, 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 wait. I want to show you some someone else who's interrupting the community in Hawaii. This guy has been doing public interviews like since five years ago. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce my man, the myth, the legend, Loyal Manny. Hey man, that's a big honor, man. First of all, you're a myth and a legend. You feel nah, me? Nah, not at all. You're this, a legend this right now. the guy right here. Yeah, me, I'm just starting out on public interviews, you feel me? Hopefully me and Cool Dip, I mean, we are actually going to work on more things to come. You feel me? I just want to say I appreciate y'all. Uh, appreciate my boy Cool Dip especially for throwing it down for our community. Y'all know what community I'm from. If y'all don't, make sure y'all check on my shit. You know, feel me? But, so, um, so I got to tell you something. Yeah. For, for all my Micronesian community out there, my Melanesians and all my Polynesians following, this guy is one of the very few Pacific Islanders here in Hawaii that's doing awkward interactions. And when I mean awkward <laughs> interactions, he's walking up to random strangers and he's asking them whatever question. In fact, he's even asking them what kind of under underwear they're wearing today. Ooh, right? Is he, you gonna go there? Yeah, actually, yeah, I'm, maybe, gonna go there. Gonna go there. <laughs> I'm gonna go, go there. there. I'm gonna go there since y'all brought it up. <laughs> what made you start doing this? Like, wh why did you wanna randomly interview? Out of anything you could have done, on your YouTube channel, you decided, let me do some public interviews. Why that? Well, 
the first thing that actually motivated me was like you know there's nobody there's nobody doing that right now you know and the only one that are doing that right now is my boy right here cool dip and me i wanted to get onto it because i really wanted to do something crazy feel me and i just wanted to motivate my own people my Canadian community feel me and uh especially from you know all those all these little scuffles that's going on i, I just wanted to prove our us you know what i'm saying as our people like we ain't we ain't all bad people type of thing you feel me exactly at the end of the day we're all the same type of people we bleed the same blood now my final question of the day is what would you like to leave my channel with like a bit of advice for all the micronesian community out there because right. you're, you're doing it Right, some people are saying, I'm gonna do it, I might wanna do it, I don't know if I wanna do it, but he's actually doing it, he's actually coming out in the streets. What is the one bit of advice you can have for the Micronesian community? All right, so a big, 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 um, a big word that I got from my boy right here, Cool Dip, he said, you shouldn't worry about anybody or what they think because it's nobody's business. And it's from my man's dad, right? And I kept that in my head forever. Right now, I still got it, forever I'll keep it with me. And, um, you know what I'm saying? All I gotta say is for all you guys to come out here and go crazy, you feel me? Not crazy crazy, but like, you feel me? Like, just just appropriately. Break out of your barrier, folks. This is my boy, Lil Manny. You can find his channel right somewhere in the description below or somewhere above. Stay tuned.